fucking I make saves like this or this every weekend. So with normal service resuming, this morning so I was taking on Beverly Town at Hayworth Park who consented to being filmed for the Talkie Surf channel. Cheers Beverly Town players, coaches and parents. Apologies, I am coming down with a bit of a cold so my voice may sound croakier than usual. So with that, we're into the match. We started brightly as in the opening seconds, Alfie flicked the ball forward for Spencer, who nodded it onto Archie L. Archie's battle blocking and the pending clearance for turning into the shot ward. A minute later, Kenny threw in midway in the Beverly half, found Alfie who nodded up to Archie C. who in time tried to tee up Alfie. Alfie shot skewered but fell nicely for Tom to run onto it but two, but his shot was flashed across the face of goal. Chris made a passing wave to the camera. After breaking past Coops, Dan for Beverly burst through the middle on the counter attack and tried to slip a ball through for number 10, which saw me out quickly to gather up on the second attempt. An easy free kick driven low into the box fell to an unmarked Josh at the far post. Unluckily, his shot bobbled off his shin, which made it an easy save for the Beverly keeper. In mere seconds later, we had another chance to go ahead and press our bright start. The kick bounced over the defence, straight to Kenny, who hooked the ball back forward. The ball held up in the wind, which let Spencer get on the end of it. But as the ball was struck, it got trapped under his boot slightly, which took out all the power off the shot, and Beverly Town quickly recovered to clear. The missed chances then came in bitters as Beverly Carter on the 11th minute was put in low. Spencer cleared it out but only for it to come to him seconds later. His second clearance got height but lacked distance and the ball was quickly back in Beverly control. With the ball out to 11 on the wing he lofted a great ball up into the box which saw another attempted clearance fell straight to Dan inside the box. His turn and shot was blasted right across the goal smashed into my top left hand corner. Cracking strike shame it was against me. Minutes later, we got a leveller from a corner. Ethan drilled his corner from the right-hand side of the front. Archie yelled at the front post. His little flick-on ball caught everyone out as it snuck in at the near post and pulled his level. Archie was called on then to put a great tackle in on the through ball. His well-timed challenge snubbed out this chance. After failing once again to clear our lines, Beverly grabbed a second goal. The ball on our right side was brought inside and it was found its way to Dan, who was pressured by Will and Archie L. The ball bounced through to Charlie, who made no mistake about it and lashed as, it, as her eyes scrambled across. We attempted to hit back immediately as Archie came and Josh pressed, which allowed Spencer to bring the ball down as he bring it inside, but it shot from the edge of the box, gathered up by Beverly keeper Jaden. As we approached our tower, we were still pressing to get back into the game as Ethan plays his back to me before a bit of footwork found Archie L. He was tackled at halfway, but the ball was picked up by Willow who passed it to Archie K. He battled forward and attempted to put a through ball for Spencer, but Beverly put a challenge in. But Archie C battled hard and won this ball before running the ball down the left wing across it in, which was handled inside the box for a penalty. Unfortunate for us, the Beverly keeper pulls off this great save to deny us. A minute later, we were denied again by Jaden in the Beverly goal. Coots passed the ball forward for Spencer to center on a low shot down to the left hand side of the goal, which saw the keeper down to stop it and gather it up. So we reached half time 2 1 down. We had started well despite the score, and the game had been fairly even. We had the chances to score, which failed to put away, and that made the difference. Our failing in the first half was quickly restarted in the second half as the ball had me out to make the initial save, but we had to learn our lesson and failed to clear our lines as the ball finds its way to Jacob Beverly's 12 to sweep the ball in for 3 1. Ethan's running down the line for Tom, so I'm trying to put Josh a throw on goal, but James Beverly's number, number 16 and put a great challenge in. And Beverly nearly netted a fourth as his chip from the edge of the area had to be well beat. Fortunately, we fell the wrong side of the purse, had it, me breathing a sigh of relief. Whew. Then Beverly had another decent chance. Honestly, this should have been a penalty for Beverly, but the referee gave a free kick. The free kick was smashed over the, from the edge of the box. Seconds later, we had a chance to get one back as Archie K battled well and the lofted ball from Spencer he chased it down and tried to lob it. The on rushing keeper, like Beverly, chance this also fell well wide. The game fell a bit scrappy for a few minutes as there were future stoppages for injuries before Beverly again had another good chance after a ball into the middle found seven unmarked with time to tee up a shot it saw me down and left to tip it wide. With time running out a long pump from me had Archie C chasing it down and nearly creating the chance as he runs to the and before crossing it in with no one there that was quickly swept up.
A minute later, we did grab one back to make the last few minutes of the game all more tense. There's a free kick from Kenny inside our own half, but Archie see in space. His first time finish placed brilliantly into the back of the net. A quick Beverly throw in saw me out quick once again together with a Beverly attacker in close tens. With that though, Beverly did see the last two minutes out of the game. So a defeat in a well fought match which could have easily gone either way. I were not taking the chance, especially the few we had in the first half made the difference. But the best of luck to Beverly lads. Look forward to our return visit later in the season. Next week we face Costello Dragons, but there would be no talkie saves as I'm attending a refereeing course. Cards and whistles at the ready, people.